So once you've um, stitched the top edge as well, you should have something that looks very much like this. Um, so what we now need to do is fix our ribbon. And this is done in a very easy way. Essentially, it's just a series of single crochet stitches. So let's get started on that. So first take um, another colored yarn um, of your preference. Again, I will leave all the information about the yarns that I've used and the quantities I've used um, in the description box, but also um, where my full pattern is available if you would like to purchase this. So for the ribbon here, I will chain um, a total of 50, um, four chains. So once you have 54 chains, again, single crochet uh, into the second chain from the hook um, and continue and do that all along the edge, uh, all along your, your chains, which should give you 53 um, 53 chains. Now here is where you can adapt the pattern if you so wish. Um, you can make a much thicker ribbon by um, single crocheting, um, well doing only one row or to make it thicker you can do multiple rows. Um, in this instance um, to make this sort of thickness you need two rows. Um, but for example for the more the rectangular one here I've used two rows of single crochet and this is just a single one. So you can play around with this and adapt it to also create slightly different styles. So um, I'll meet you again once I've done two um, rows of single crochet across my chain. Um, it has a total, it will have a total of 53 um, stitches on each row. So I'll meet you back once I've done that to tell you how we can build up on our um, ribbon and how we can connect it to our piece. So here I've done two rows of single crochet stitch. Uh, you remember we started with a chain of 54. We single crocheted into the second loop uh, or the second chain, sorry, from hook. Uh, so we have a total of 53 stitches. And then once I single crocheted across um, my chains, I chained one and then I did a second row of single crochet. So now that I've, I've done the one ribbon, so let's say this is that, I will do my second uh, ribbon. But rather than fastening off my yarn um, at this point, I will just do a series of chains here um, so that I don't have to weave in additional ends. And again, here you can decide to do, um, again, two rows of single crochet um, stitches so that the two ribbons have the same thickness, or you can play around, do it thicker or thinner. And I think for this um, present, just to make things a bit different, I think I will do just, just a, a, a single um, row of single crochets. So what you'll do now is you'll chain 47, um, sorry, 48 chains. And then you'll do, once you've done your 48 chains, you'll start to do a single crochet stitch just across your chains, starting with a second um, chain from hook. Um, so I'll do that and I'll meet you back at the end so we can put our ribbon around our present, secure that and then finish it off with our bow. So I've finished my ribbon. This is the longer side, slightly longer side, um, that has two single crochet rows. And here I have the second piece that is attached to it, where I only did one row of single crochets. And again, if you want, you can make it also two double, two um, rows of single crochet, however much you like, you know, just look how you prefer, you know, what kind of look you prefer. If a more asymmetrical look is what you're going for, like this one, or if you like them to be the same thickness, um, and um, just go from there. Now flip, your. this will be, so to assemble it, just um, always remember that this will be the front piece, uh, the top piece of your present, where we're going to put our bow. So just flip this around and place your ribbon um, in the way you like it. So here... Um, 
I've got a bit of a, a, a knot here, so I'd want to make sure that this is on the on the underside. And you can also look to see if you want your ribbons to be in the absolute center or you want it just a bit of set. I again like the slightly offset look. So what I'll do is I'll go around our piece with this and I will very loosely um, pull it around our ribbon. I don't want it to be tight so that it uh, looks as if it's squeezing my present. I want it to be nice and loose. Like this. And if the two pieces as they are do here um, overlap, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna um, deal with that in a sec anyway. But it's better that they overlap than they um, are not. Um, you know that you have to squeeze your present essentially to make sure that they go through. So let's see if I like this look here. Do I like this look here? Oh, well, actually, I think I would like them to be um, a bit more centered. So actually, this this might be my preferred look. So once I've, um, you know, once I'm happy with how it's looking, I will take, oops, I will take a darning needle. Let me bring this back into focus, into our camera piece. So I'm just going to turn it around and with a darning needle and the remaining piece of yarn uh, from my ribbon again, I've given it a bit of a long tail so that I can use that to secure it. I will very carefully start sewing it together, the two parts of the ribbon, but also make sure that I sew it down to the actual present um, so that it cannot, um, sorry, I've made a little mistake here, so that it cannot move um, from its placement. So let's do that here. So here you'll see I'll pick up some of my present of the, the pink um, yarn. And it doesn't need much just a few stitches so that it doesn't move too much. Um, and if you feel that it needs a few more stitches around your present, you can do that. Um, I'll show you how it looks either way because I've tried it um, in a couple of different ways. And then once I've done one side, I'm just going to the other side to make sure that the other side, the other side of the ribbon is also secured. So also try and go as much as you can sort of parallel to your present. Again, it's not very easy because you've got that cardboard underneath, um, but you also don't need to be um, too worried about how it's going to stay or not on your present because this is an ornament. It's not going to get a lot of heavy heavy use. But again, if you go like this, the cardboard also sometimes helps you pick up a couple of stranded yarns, uh, pieces of yarn, because um, it gives you a nice surface to, to pinch your yarn against. So again, I'm just making sure here that I'm happy with the placement of my ribbons and I'm, I quite like this look. And so now I'm going to use my darning needle to go to the other side where the remaining ribbon is unattached. And like this, picking up the pink yarn, I'm going to go through that piece of yarn here and seek to secure it snugly. Again, going through that pink yarn right up to the green one. Hope you can still see what I'm doing, but it's fairly, fairly self-explanatory. It's not, nothing too difficult. 
Um, and either way, try, try and be as neat as you can. But at the end of the day, this is going to be the underside of our ornament. Nobody's going to really see it, but you always want your piece to look as neat as possible, right? Since you spend so much time working on it. So here I'm just going to do a couple of big stitches. Just using the carton, the, um, the, yeah, the carton that is underneath to guide me. Um, and the first few times that I did this, I actually thought that the ribbon needed stabilizing across the, um, the piece. So what I did was I just used my yarn and just went from one side to the other, like so. So underneath here, and then again, I used the cardboard as a way of making sure that I went straight up. Um, you don't want to create too many, to create really any stitches here on these sides because then that creates a bulge, which doesn't look great for your gift. Whereas this like that, if you just go down here and then through here, try and make sure that no pink yarn comes through your ribbon. Um, but if you go like this, then you've kind of given yourself you know, a few extra stitches along the present. And this one is quite a, a small, very narrow, so it doesn't re really need stabilized. Just to give an example here, I've done stitches all around, so this can't really move. But equally for this one, I have really not done anything. And you see there's very little difference between them all. And this one I think I've done just to the sides. So again, they all look good. So, you know, if you want them to be totally attached, then go ahead and, and do more stitches. But the main thing is secure it in the bottom. Do that as neatly as possible. Make sure it's all smooth and nice on the top. Uh, and if you want, just go ahead and put a couple of stitches there. Make sure they're not too tight because otherwise that will create uh, a bulge and you don't want that. So now the last piece we need to work on is our bow. So we'll start that right now. So again, what you need here is your hook and the same color yarn as the one you used for your ribbon. And the first piece we will work on is your actual bow. And this is made out of um, basically a chain of 21 chains, which will yield 20 stitches. So let's start. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And I should say that the bows for all of these are the same pattern. Um, so that stays the same regardless of the type of ornament you're, you're doing. So once we have our chains, then you will start to do, or you will do a first single crochet stitch in this um, second chain from the hook just like always so do one single crochet stitch like so then you will do two half double crochets and half doubles are worked in a different way so you yarn over go through the chain yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through so you'll do that once more so that you have two half doubles and again if you don't know this stitch i have a tutorial on my channel so you can have a look at that and see how I do it or how it's done and then you're going to do four double crochets like this again four double crochets you yarn over you pull through you yarn over you pull through two loops yarn over two loops so again go through the chain yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. And again, I have another tutorial for that um, stitch if you're not familiar with it. But here we'll do four double crochet 
um, stitches. So we have our first single crochet stitch to have doubles and one, two, three, four um, double crochets. And then we will do two half doubles again. Oops. And then we will do two single crochets. So one, two. Get a bit more yarn. And then we'll do pretty much the same two half doubles. One, two. And then four double crochets. And then we'll do two half doubles. Make sure you don't split your yarn. Like this. And you should have one remaining stitch for that last single crochet that we'll do. Great. And that's that's what will make the main um, body of your um, ribbon. And so at this point, you could potentially um, you know, do a chain one and um, do the rest and by sewing it. But just to make things, you know, again, so we don't have to, um, you know, weave in too many ends at the end. What I like to do is just take my hook off, but don't, um, you know, leave the yarn attached. What I like to do is just weave in this end so it's out of the way and it's not potentially confusing me. And all I'm going to do is go through a couple of these stitches. It's a very small piece. You know, nothing. Again, just make sure it's neat because this is going to be your bow. So you don't want it to look weird or, um, you know, for the stitches to be too visible if you're going to do what I'm doing here. So try and be as neat as possible. I'm going a bit fast here for the purposes of this video but you can take your time. Um, but all I want to do is just secure it so it's kind of out of my way so that I can connect the two sides of my bow. And so what I'm going to do is um, this will be the outside, the, the side that people see of my bow. So I want to bring it, bring the two sides here in the middle and slip stitch those together. So put your hook through here and again make sure this is straight so it's not twisted like so. Make sure it's straight. And just do a couple of slip stitches here and make your whichever bits of yarn you can get with base chain, you know, single crochet chain or single crochet row, sorry. Um, and like so. And that will be the back of your bow. Like so. So it's all, there's a single crochet. There's a, there's a couple of slip stitches here to connect the, the two pieces. And again, if you'd wanted, you could have done this with a darning needle, but I just don't like having too many ends to sew at the, at the beginning, at the end of the, the whole process. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain a few more stitches to create this bit, the middle of the bow. Because again, you could have done it as a separate piece and sewn it all together. I think it's easier to just do it in one go. So here what I'll do is I'll chain seven, two. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll do a little chain of single crochets. So again, you go to the second um, chain from the loop. So you should have six single crochets at the end once you've sort of single crocheted across the piece that you just created. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And now you want to very carefully 
take your hook out, but again, don't cut off your yarn. Go like this. So take your piece, you're here in the back where you've created that, that piece, straighten it out and loop it around your bow so that you reach the end. So basically where your loop was, where your hook was in, it goes around, it's still in the back this piece, but your single crochets are now here in the front creating that loop. And this is how it's looking at the moment from the from the front. And just make sure it's quite um, it's a bit symmetrical so that you know your bow doesn't look um lopsided. And what you're gonna do at this point is put your hook back in that loop. And again, do a couple of slip stitches to bring it all together and try and also pick up some parts um, from your bow to make this to stabilize this a bit more. But again, we are going to sew it onto our present, so it doesn't need to be, you know, needs to be just secure enough so that you can work with it. It doesn't need to be super duper. Um, secure, just so that it stays in place and you can work with it like so like that. so here it is how your little bow will be looking but now we need some ribbons so these little legs here and the way to do those is to chain 10 so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And again, just single crochet from the second chain from hook. And then you should have ten single crochets, and that will be one part of your well, little ribbon edges. If you want, you can make them um, shorter or you can make them uh, longer. I just find that this is a, a great length. They can curl a bit um, and they look really pretty, um, but it's really up to you, whatever you prefer. This is a very easy pattern to adapt. So once I've done 10 here, what I want to do is go back a bit further up and again slip stitch in one of those stitches further up just so that when I turn my piece around that edge doesn't show and again you'll repeat the same you're going to chain 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and you're going to single crochet 10 um, stitches up the chain and I'll meet you once that is done so that we can um, sew our little um, bow onto our ribbon and present and finish off our ornament. So here we are, uh, we've done the second little bow, the second little leg of your, your bow, the, the ribbon bit and slip stitch it in the back again um, so it's nice and secure and then I've left a bit of a tail for me to go and sew this on um, to my ornament. Um, so let's do that. Again, I've left quite a fair amount of yarn in that tail. You probably don't need as much, but better uh, to have some extra than feel like you don't have enough. And just place your bow and make sure that you're happy. Some people like it further up. Um, you know, you may want to put it right on top of that second um, ribbon or you may want it underneath. Just decide which placement you prefer. I think I like it right up there. And what I do is with my um, needle, I just go right under and try and pick up even the pink um, yarn. Even if I don't, then I'll do it later on. But at least the two ribbons so that I can 
and it can be sure that my um, ball will be fixed in the right place. And then like this, because here we don't have cardboard, it's a bit easier to go a bit further down and pick up the pink yarn as well. And you just secure it and if you want, just go through the back of your ribbon again just to make sure that it's nice, it's going to have a nice snug fit. Um, continue checking that you're happy with the placement. Um, here, for example, I'll make sure that my next stitch definitely picks up some of that pink yarn, which I've just managed to do. And this is the one place where it's say you do need your stitches and your sewing to be a bit more precise, um, just to make sure that your little ornament um, has a snug fit um, and that it doesn't look as if it's dangly, you know, or, or floppy. You want it to be a nice little bow right here. Um, and really, after you've done just a few stitches and you feel that it's quite secure, that's really all there is to it. You can um, take your needle and go to that side here. Let's see. How does this look? Well, it looks pretty nice. So here again, you can sort of hide it. Hide again your yarn. And just take it to the, to the other end. Like we did before when we wanted to secure our um, our ribbon. And therefore that just gives you that additional security. You know your bow is not going to really go anywhere. And there you go. I think here you can either make a tiny knot. Oops, make a tiny knot here, go on the other side, go out, and just cut it off. And here you are, you've got a beautiful whole ornament. And the amazing thing is these are so easy to make. You really just need maybe one evening, just get an assortment of yarns. Um, can't even fit them all here in the in the picture, but you really you just need an assortment of yarns uh, and you can make some very pretty ornaments. I'll include the information about the yarn, the colors I've used um, actually for all of these guys um, down in the description box. Um, but also I will include the different information about the slight adaptations I did to create this um, ornament, which is more of a rectangle compared to a square. But also this guy has a sort of uh, lid rather than a sewn, um, you know, sewn kind of top um, like we did for the one that I've just showed you on this clip. And of course, if you want more detailed information about how to make these, Two, um, that is also included in my pattern, but the rough measurements and approach will be included in the description box for you to have a go um, alongside the uh, color combinations that we used in the yarn. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope you make some of these presents for, for yourself or hanging in your chief um, for gifting to, to loved ones um, and happy crochet.